Hey, what's going on, guys? Revised here. Thank you for watching my video. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy. So, I haven't made a video in forever. So, I just want to bring a video because I'm kind of bored right now. Um, so, we're going to learn about user input service. Uh, I don't really know how to explain it, to be honest. <clears throat> but I will leave a link in the description for the API. So you can look through the functions and events they have. Um, maybe I can link a few other things. But user and per service is very useful. Uh, instead of using like a, let me make a uh, let's make a local script inside of Starter GUI. So instead of like you know you get the player and then you get the the mouse and then you make a you do uh, mouse dot key down or I think that's the event for the mouse and then you get like the key and then you say like if key is equal to X or whatever then instead of doing stuff like that well we're, this you this is whenever user input service comes in it's way more useful you can do a lot more so <clears throat> we're just gonna be doing something uh, simple with the keys um, so first off, let's make a variable. So local U, uh, UIS for user input service equals game get get service user in well oh, can't say input service. So user input service is a service. So that's why we go inside of game, which game cont contain contains or holds all of this, and then we get the service user input service, but user input service is not really in here man I really need to learn these two things these services um, but anyways alright so in user input service there's an event called input begin which is whenever you uh, you uh, make contact with the keyboard um, let's see let me go here and look under events and see what it says. Input began. Fired when a user begins interacting via a human computer interface device. Um, I guess in this tutorial we can do input began and input ended. We'll do we'll do both of these. Okay. So UIS. So we do input began. Oh snap. In Put began. Then we connect that event to a function. And then this uh, event holds uh, a parameter called input. Uh, but of course, this is kind of like a variable, and this can be named anything. But uh, parameters usually go in a specific order, so the first parameter is like the input. <coughs> But the name could be whatever, but it is input. Uh, so let's do let's make an if statement. So if input dot key code is equal to enum dot key code dot. So <clears throat> right here, these are all the uh, key codes they have. It's like almost every single key they have on a keyboard. They even have it for uh, Xbox because user input service. If you wanna make Xbox games you use user imp user input service free I can't talk so these are all like Xbox controls and stuff but what I'm gonna do is X so whenever you press X something happens um then and now what we can do is print A I guess print A let's test Alright, so whenever we press X, it prints A. Now, see it's printing a bunch of times right here. There's a new update. Wow, that's weird. They need to fix this where you can type. Um, but yeah, there's a new update. Instead of it pressing A8, like typing A A A A and going down, it just does times six. Um, or times whatever. But as you can see, it works. So <clears throat> what if we did input ended? Let's copy this. 
Now let's do input ended. Uh, this should be input and then everything should be the same uh, but we want to print B whenever input has ended. So we're going to press X. So we're holding it down right now. It, it shows A but what happens whenever we let go? It prints B. Hold, let go. Hold, let go. Hold, let go. Hold, let go. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, good. Take out that fire. Put on that light switch. Bam, bam, bam. Word. <clears throat> well, yeah, that's pretty simple. Uh. Oh, they got touch ended. Fire. Ooh. Wait, touch ended. Oh. He releases their finger from the screen. Oh, this is for devices, for phones and stuff. I really never used much. I think I used input changed before. Yeah, that's really all I use, but I know this is very useful. Uh. Jump request. This seems useful. You know, I'm going to try this out cuz maybe if you guys are watching, maybe you'll see this um and maybe you'll want this or something. All right, so as you can see it says game get service user input service, but we already have a variable for that, so let's make it UIS. Uh let's see what's going to happen. Well, let me try again. So every time we jump, it prints like three, maybe three more times. Like three, yeah, three times. Now that's weird, but I don't know how that works because I never really studied jump requests. But anyways, that's going to be it for the tutorial. Uh, I don't know what else to do. Maybe I can make a speed boost tutorial if I haven't made one of those yet. I'm going to have to look into that. Or, uh, hmm, something. I'll figure out something. But I hope this was useful, and uh, thank you for watching. Peace.